I took a stroll through a small local mall and what I found was astounding. A limited time exhibit with massive animatronics. So despite my best efforts, I have not been able to discover who made these animatronics and if they've been on display anywhere else before. But that just makes me want to make a showcase of them even more because it seems that these guys are pretty rare. This guy is the Dunkleosteus, which is a genus of armored fish that lived 358 million years ago at the end of the Devonian period. This guy has quite the goofy roar and his eyes look absolutely adorable, but giving him a very silly appearance. However, it's a really neat animatronic that both moves its head and its tail. This is the Ammonite. They look quite similar to Nautilus, which still lives today, but these guys died out 66 million years ago and are an entirely different genus. This animatronic is really janky and you can hear the mechanics going on inside of it, but this actually makes me more interested in them. You can see how the mechanics are kind of struggling to keep them going. This one has very limited movement. Quetzalcoatlus. This is known as the largest flying reptile to ever exist. It's from the late Cretaceous period. This animatronic is one of my favorite because of how worn down it looks. <laughs> you can hear the creaking clearly when it moves and the whole body shakes when it's moving its head. I find it super entertaining and really amazing. It's still a really impressive animatronic and it's quite tall. Next up is the Megalania, which was a giant monitor lizard. And this is one of the few animatronics in this exhibit that I do believe is natural size. The size it had when it was alive. It's one of my favorites because the movements are really quite well done and it looks absolutely adorable with its head nodding up and down. The animatronics seems to be on some sort of timer because they will randomly just stop and freeze where they are no matter which part of the cycle they're at and then they will start again a few seconds or minutes later. It's quite spooky but also really fascinating. The animatronics are divided into these small sections where there's two animatronics in a little environment and that's the pattern throughout the whole mall. The woolly mammoth needs no introduction as it is a creature I believe most people are familiar with and it is actually one of the better animatronics in the exhibit. Its movements are quite fluid and quite smooth and to an extent I dare say realistic. It's also a pretty well done animatronic with all the hair coming down. It's definitely not life size but it is still a rather large animatronic. And last, but certainly not least, a predator that might be even more famous than the mammoth, the Smilodon, also known as the saber-toothed tiger. As with most of the other animatronics, this one is pretty ragged looking. Its fur looks quite old and quite worn, and the eyes are not the greatest either. It's by no means realistic, but that's what I like about these animatronics. They're creepy in their own right, and it just works for me. 
What's cool about this exhibit as well is that you can get really close to the animatronics. The barrier is right next to the animatronics head, so if I reached out my hand, I could have touched the saber-toothed tiger, no problem. And I think that's a really special thing, that you can get up close and personal with these massive robots. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. It's really rare for me to get in contact with animatronics anywhere. So this was really special to me and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Hopefully we'll meet again. Until then, take care so long. Was that the bite of 87? <laughs>